So we went to Quick Lots. In Arlington, Texas. And we're addicted. Um, we bought 38 items, $5 a day, which is their highest price day, Saturday, Sunday, $5 days. It's also their uh, restock time. They, that's their, their restock days for their truckloads of inventory. Richard got, and well, I didn't know it, I called up there in the middle of the week. Um, I talked to the owner of Quick Lot's son, and Richard talked to the owner and his son on um, Saturday when we were up there. Very nice guys, great people, just really good people. So we wanted to throw that out there. We are addicted. Um, <laughs> One thing I really like, yeah, you have to wear gloves and you have to wear your mask and bring your bags. But if you forget your gloves and your mask, and your, not your mask, but your gloves and your bag, I didn't check on masks, but mm -hmm. they were handing out um, like container liners for people to put their stuff in and also gloves. So I thought that was really cool of them to spend their, spend their money to make sure that people had bags and people had their gloves. Um, I didn't see masks, but I don't know. Yeah. But um, luckily, we had all of our stuff. I had checked everything. And, uh, but I just think it was really cool that they do that. Um, I think it's really nice of them, them to do that. So um, we're going to get into some of the finds that we found. That, Like I said, this was our first time. We do have some that are just not... They're not bad finds. I wouldn't say that. But for well, what we do as far as eBay, it's definitely not real profitable. But if it was on one of the other days where it's, say, a... Three dollar day or a two dollar day or whatever they would have been profitable to sell on eBay. So we're going to kind of go over some things we did buy a couple personal things. Um, so not like weird personal things, but things we're going to keep. But they do have the weird personal things. Yes, they do. Just they're, in case you need to go get some of those. They're they're in a Let's special say. room. Well, one was in that one box that came out, yeah. and my sister was on the other side and sent me the picture of. But anyway, <clears throat> so that could be for another video. On another channel. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, so we're going to go over some things. Um, and where do you want to start? Let's start with this personal thing get it out of the way. Okay. So we do have this litter box. And these are the... Sorry, it got a little glare there on our light. These are the Litter Made Waste Receptacles. This is an 18-pack. It's yeah. for the litter for boxes the, that clean themselves. Yeah, the self-cleaning litter box. And these are like... We just priced them and they're like 25 bucks for the box. We've never used a litter box. Um, but yeah. now we're going to. Yeah, because we found the litter box at a garage sale. And never didn't, used. Didn't want to spend the money to buy these right up, right? Just yeah. Cause. They had never used a litter box, but they didn't have it. They had unboxed it, but never used it. So anyway. Because they didn't have the liners either. <laughs> but so per, for personal stuff like that, you can get really good deals also. Yeah. Because we also found uh, shipping boxes. Uh, we priced, they were six by six by six uh, shipping boxes, paid five dollars for them, and got... Uh, 25 of the boxes and we looked them up and they were running about 30 bucks so you know extra extra yeah. bonus there I hate spending money on shipping supplies but you know when I can get them for like that I would I didn't know he got them until after we left and so yeah, next time I'll be looking for that anyway so if our eyes are red tonight there's not like a reason behind that other than we tested, we a light. tested <laughs> this and the box and everything's down there for it and we tested this and this is a thousand watt. Oh, I'm sorry. This is a hundred LED light, thousand watt grow light. And it's got bloom, you can and, bloom and veg on it, and, or you can do both. Yeah. And we've never been around one of these, so we plugged it in to test it. And now all we see is a hundred little speckles in our eyes right now. Our eyes are on fire. Fire, I say. And uh, mm -hmm. it's really, really cool. And it hangs. It's got little hangers. And yeah, it hangs and from the ceiling. It's got fans. And um, everything that we bought cost us, with tax, $5. And we figured $0.41 cents a piece. Yeah. This right now, comps I'm seeing anywhere between $60 to $100. Um, my son actually may want this one. So, we're yeah. kind of... So, that was one of the things that we found. Um, we also found, and while we're on the subject of it, and I think I'll price this at probably around 60 bucks plus shipping if I sell it um, on eBay. If my son wants it, you know, I'll give him a little better deal. Show him the other. So, while we're on the subject of grow lights, we found another one. This one is really cool also. I'm going to put a really cool picture 
up here yeah, that way to show you what it looks like lit well, up. We don't have to open the box. And, I'm going to open it and already, show them real quick. Or she's going to open the box. We've already turned it on. And We've already it. tested it. But um, I'm going to put a picture of it actually that I have on the listing. We're newbies, y'all. Uh, yes, this is our first uh, un kind of unboxing, unboxing of what we got. Mystery, yeah, because it's pretty much a surprise to us on some of the stuff. Unboxing of the every stuff from Quick Lots Bin Store. Yeah. All right, so that one I think I've got listed for thirty-five plus shipping. And I got a a whoops that I I decided to pull off. I got really excited when we first got there, and like I said, we were just pulling stuff out of the. Out but of you it. didn't notice the whoops till we yeah. got home. And you know, it's not all brand new it's amazon returns possibly or returns this looks like it when they got yeah, it out of the box when they so. got it out of the box i picked it up from this side i knew exactly what this was it's a solar cell we have one similar to it in the backyard and i know what we paid for it so you know i know what size this was so i just snatched it threw it in a bag and went on my merry way when we got home uh noticed on the back because i didn't check while i was there and that's just through no fault but my own is that somebody decided to use a sharp razor knife to cut into the box that this was in when they did not only did they cut through the packaging box but it also took a layer out of the cut through the cut through the vinyl layer of the, yeah, of, of the solar cell so can't sell this we lost five dollars so but we can, we can use it i got a outdoor kitchen and i'm gonna put this over so it, it still is gonna work out for us i'll just put the the hole somewhere i'm not gonna stand so or it'll be great for you know pallets by the poolside this summer mm -hmm. anyway moving on all right this is, and these, this will be a local sale. This will not be um, something that we put on eBay. It will either be a local sale or something that we put with things that he builds. He builds cornhole uh, boards. Cornhole boards. Cornhole boards. Yes. And this is a brand new set of cornhole bags. Yep. And it also has a bag in the bottom to keep mm -hmm. them in. It's orange and black, $5. You know, they don't sell for much. They go for about 16 but you put them with a board and, you know, you can charge you can sell them 25 up. for these or 25 30 because it has the bags with it. So. so we went ahead and grabbed those, or he did. And I'll scoot that on down. This right here I haven't comped yet. Um, everything I'm seeing is not going for a whole lot. And this is a automatic clamping wireless car charger. Um, looks like they're going for about 15 ships. So I'll probably put this on our local market for say 15 10 15 bucks try to recoup our money back make a couple bucks on it um we'll know next time not to grab this on five dollar day but um it's still a really nice product there's just the market is flooded with them so in worst case scenario it'll be a gift for somebody later on down the road or a giveaway or a giveaway if we ever get big enough for giveaways all right i picked these up because i knew that when i looked at them with Five Nights at Freddy's. And they all have lights in them. And one of them is out of the wrapper. Um, there's five total. Mm -hmm. And then when I got home and I looked, and like I said, this was our first time. We were a little overwhelmed and, you know, grabbing stuff. And um, mm -hmm. sometimes you put your hand behind it, I see on YouTube. He looks awesome. He does look awesome. We should keep him. I'm trying to make it look there. You got to put your thumb too fat. Mm -hmm. Hey, don't mess with my fat though. Anyway, but they are, well, how does it, unbranded, inspired by Five Nights at Freddy's. So I think I'm just going to put them on our local market for, I don't know, they all were $5 for all of them. Put them up for like 15 bucks. see if I get any nibbles. If not, if stick not, them we'll, on his shelf in his room or my son's. Yeah, we'll hide them in various spots throughout our oldest son's room or youngest son's room. I yeah. Guess it'd be. But, you know, we can at least make our money way. back on it. We're learning, and that's why we're doing this for anybody who's watching, so they can learn things that that we forgot to do. And, you know, I didn't, I just said, ooh, Five Nights at Freddy's and grabbed it. I didn't read the label where it says inspired by. But I, I, and I, I don't want to take the chance on eBay with yeah. heroes and everything else to even put Five Nights with Freddy's or with Freddy or FMWF. 
or anything like that that would, you know, lead them to think I'm trying to sell an unbranded toy as the brand name. Yeah, we also got uh, the same thing. We picked up a bunch of inspired oh. by Lego uh, Ninjaro characters, inspired by. I mean, they're they're little mini figs, you know. Pick them up because... There's 18 of them in there. Yeah, 18 mini figs. We all know what... Individually wrapped. Yeah, individually wrapped. But, you know, not sure how we're going to sell these. I already listed them. Oh. Um, I did find them on eBay, and I listed them for $22.95 plus shipping as unbranded. And I did state in the description that they do work with popular similar brands. Or similar popular brands, whatever I said. I never mentioned Lego or anything like that. I figure people can get the idea that they will connect with that. Um, and we'll just see if they sell. If they don't, another, I mean, we'll, we'll figure out something. I'm feeling weird. I don't know why I can't get my shirt right. We'll quit looking at yourself. So well, it's hard. I'm not, I would keep looking at the, the monitor and not the camera. I'm trying to figure out why everything's backwards. Alright, so I want to talk about these sunglasses. So I bought these Don Rebel sunglasses, thinking, ooh, these look really good. I mean, they're not horrible. They're really nice sunglasses. I'm not going to take them all out. Um, they're polarized. I've got three sets, aqua blue, with the round frame. So, like. And they're polarized in mirror. And you can even see that through the plastic. And they got the nice case. But when I comped them after I got home, they're going for about $15 plus shipping on eBay. They're listed for that. Um, didn't see a lot of solds. Um, but I went ahead and listed them. I may put them on our local market. I do have one pair in here that's a green aviator mirrored. They're posted for the same price. I know some sunglasses can go for a lot, but I'm very low maintenance, as y'all can tell. Um, so I don't know all of the brands. I just thought they were kind of cool, and they looked really good. So, um, you going to take them out? I don't know if I knew there was going to be Anywho. a puzzle involved. Yes, uh, that's why I said I wasn't going to take them out because I've already done that. But you can't tell the green in the in the video. Hmm. Now they're used. Damn. Well, they're used by awesomeness. So they'll sell. Then you can charge more. Okay. You can charge more. I gotta give them away. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, you know, if I can sell them for fifteen plus shipping, then you know I'm making six, seven, eight bucks off of them. So and you know I'm I'm good with that. Um, real quick, I do want to throw a screenshot in here after I tell you about. The Maui Gym sunglasses that I found. They were in a brown case, and I'm fixing to put a couple screenshots up here right now. And these Maui Gyms. And so, we, we will clean these since I did stick them on my fat head. So. Yeah. And uh, the Maui Gyms, I grabbed. I thought it was a cool case. I, you know, it's kind of like these. It's five bucks. If they don't sell, who doesn't always need sunglasses around? You know, I usually buy mine at the Dollar Tree, to be honest with you. Um, so I grabbed these Maui gems, and I threw them in my bag. Didn't think too much about it. Didn't even really open. I just opened, made sure they were in, unzipped the case, made sure they were in there. He said he picked them up, another set of them yeah, up at one time. It may have been the same set, but I see. I picked them up. Picked, I know I picked that case up, and they were in my way, so I tossed them to the side. And seen multiple other folks up there doing the same thing. She did not. I kept, I threw them in my bag and I bought them. So we get home, we start comping stuff. And this is Saturday night, start comping. And I look them up and I comp them. And they were going for around $120 shipped. Mm -hmm. I, I posted mine at 109 plus first class shipping. Um they, I got an email or, or email through eBay this morning asking if I could ship them immediately if they buy them because they're a Valentine's present. Sold them with, in less than 12 hours um, and with no hesitation on her end. And I went ahead and did them priority shipping. Wasn't but a couple dollars more because I was going to put insurance on the first class anyway. But since they were going to be a Valentine's present, I wanted to make sure they got to her in time. I did priority shipping. So we still, we still made... 
Yeah, she paid for the first class. She's distracting me. We paid. She paid for the first class shipping, but I went ahead and spent the extra couple bucks and did it priority, so it would definitely get to her by Valentine's Day. And uh, so that was definitely something. Maui Jim, and like I said, you've seen the screenshots. I did a couple of different ones so you know what the cases look like and, you know, the pictures and everything. Pull cans! Hulk hands. And all my little stickies are, they, are falling off of every stuff, y'all. inspired by Hulk hands? No. They are, they are a brand. They are... What's back here? They are by Toy Art. And they are Hulk hands. They got the little Spider-Man tag on. Because they have Spider-Man hands also. And these are going for $34.50 free shipping. So, and they will ship... Other ones were like vacuum sealed. I'll try to figure mine out and get them in a flat rate padded envelope because I sell a lot of plush and I will origami into a flat rate padded envelope for about seven bucks. So we'll still make a pretty good profit on those. All right. So I grabbed this. This was a package of this is Sparkle Natural Fresh Gum Care it's and it's organic. Sparkle. Sparkle. I don't know if these are showing up, guys. That it's trying to. Anyway, these are selling for fifteen dollars each, free shipping. I got six. One, two, three, four. Oh, yeah, I got six because I kept one. So there's fifty bucks right there, and it, I paid five dollars and forty-one cents for the whole bag of them. So I thought that was kind of a pretty good deal, you know, multi-quantity listing, quick, fast, and in a hurry. All right, I'll let you talk about those and about this. I'm okay. just getting some stuff out yeah. while you do that. These are Van Pro, but they are brand new Van Pro uh, electronic or electric skateboard wheels. Brand new in a box, uh, never opened, still in the factory seal. Of course, five dollars and selling for twenty-nine dollars and ninety-nine cents with free shipping. And they're they're heavy, so they'll go in whatever Gayla decides is the best way to ship them. Gayla just got a full-time job, so Richard's gonna have to learn how to do shipping okay. now, because Gayla's gonna be working all day. Okay, she so got it. These are just set of Nico. That's what they're listed at, and that's okay. Nico stainless steel digital digital calipers, 12 inch. Uh, listed for uh, $59.95 with free shipping. I'll just turn that around. And she got gross though. Uh, these are little 3D lamps, you know, little base that lights up. This this one actually Gayla picked up. And On accident, I didn't put it back. She didn't mean to, mean to pick it up, but she got it, and it is the the Brooklyn Nets. Oh, that's sad. I like that. It didn't. Oh, I just make this face because. Sorry. Because. It's not funny when you hurt. Yeah, but I picked one up and I'm not. It's Batman. I'm not keeping it, but uh, it is the it is the on this round circle thing and it is the Batman logo. Um, yeah, it looks like that. They are multicolor. They do change, and we found comps from between between. Sixteen and eighteen dollars, depending on who's on here. Anyway, this is a belly band holster. This is a belly band holster. It is a um, concealed uh, carry belt, and you know we're in Texas, so it'll sell. So I put it on Facebook Marketplace too. And this is listed you know for them country folks. This is listed for twenty nine fifty five free shipping. Um, like I said, I did cross post it over to Facebook Marketplace also. Hadn't sold yet, but it will. So that was a good little find. Um, found this Hydro Flask, the pink one. It's called the Unicorn. 
And these are listed, and I listed mine, and selling for $45 plus $5 shipping. So I listed mine comparable. Um, I seen one guy walking around with a ton of these. And I was very, very jealous of him. Now that she knows what they sell for. Well, I knew they would sell good just when I picked it up. I knew they would sell good. But Ooh. I only seen one. I know this guy had like four or five. He was carrying them like this. He had them in his hands and stuff. And I was like, I almost like, <clears throat> you know. But I didn't because cause the owner said for everybody to be nice when that we was, went yes, in. Yes, that was, that was very so cool. So it was, was nice. Uh, when we went in there, they did have... Uh, music playing in the background which she didn't notice and the owner would come on periodically and you know say you know get everybody hyped up by asking you know hey y'all want me to bring out some more product and they'd be like yeah and you know but he also put out there that you know don't open the boxes and don't open the bags bring it up to the front they'll open it so you can see what's in it instead of just tearing it open on the on the tables and letting everything spill out all over the place and he also was you know, telling people, you know, you know, there's plenty out there. You don't have to run over somebody to and get to nice. something. Be, be nice. So many of us, that was, you know, that was something that was real cool of him for doing that. You could tell he was keeping an eye. I mean, he couldn't watch everybody, but he was sitting up in the front. And you can tell, you know, he keeps an eye to make sure that people aren't getting, you know, crazy and stuff like that. And I didn't see any of that happening. Now, when they brought the new pallets out. People did swarm them. Yeah. Um, I'm not a people person. I don't want people. I don't want people in my bubble. But you know, sometimes you got to do what you got to do. But that was way too many people in my bubble, so I just kind of backed off. Next it was time. another one of the brown boxes. A lot of stuff comes in this, and like I said, I was snatching. Sometimes you can. Sometimes you can read. I, I really. You know, I can't. Read. I, I'm a practicing reader. I he, try. He can read, you guys. But anyways, uh, these were uh, Nutribullet inspired a new tree bullet yeah new tree bullet <laughs> ask country what we gonna do is go down it, that it, course okay, anyway it. it's the new it's the it's a new, new tree bullets it's a new blade and two cups two different size cups yeah. with the rims one with the handle and one without so it's a five piece set and i think i just posted that for 24.99 is what i seen plus myself. shipping oh. i think Plus yeah, plus so, all right, these are some teeth grinding mouth guards, and honestly, I picked these up for myself when I first, uh, and I may keep them for myself, but I did list them. If they sell, I'll get some more, because I grind my teeth really, 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 really bad. She has anxiety. I do. No fault of mine. Lies, again. But, it, no, not really. I've, I've always had it. But, anyway, I grind my teeth really bad in, in the middle of the night. I, I will wake up and just, it's crazy. So, anyway, I grab these because I know they're expensive at, like, Walmart because I've bought sets before. I just don't like wearing them. But, anyway, so, um, these listed, and they are just the dental care. Oops. Upper and lower. I think it's a, a four-piece set. Yeah. And these I listed for 15 plus shipping. Um... So we'll still make a couple dollars off of it if it sells. If it, if it doesn't sell, then I will try again to wear them while I sleep. But I don't like to drool. And they make me drool. She drools without mouth guards. Sorry, family. Family crumb. Do they? Can't remember nothing about these. Yeah, oh, well, we took that through one of the YouTube people we follow and, and yeah, listen to. Pallet jacking, TJ and April. April, TJ. Why do you look at me? You know who they are. I know. I just want to, don't want to get you involved. Okay, uh, a light. They say, you know, look for lights. So I found a light, a 12-inch flush mount light. And when we got back from Quick Lots, our main outside light was burnt out. And burnt out, burnt yeah, out. Yeah, burnt like out like the, the ball was had black a, and melted. Yeah, the glass. The glass ball we had a blowout through the side. So, hey, lucky our house didn't catch fire. So... This will probably more than likely go outside if it's outdoor weatherproof. It's up under the gable or whatever. So, I'm not looking at the camera. But I think you said they were going for about 60 bucks. Yeah. So, I mean, they're, they're going pretty good. And, and you know. I, you can see they cut the label off. But it can still be sold if we yeah, decide to sell it. Brush, nickel, and all that. So, it's an LED. So, maybe this one won't catch my house over. That'd be great. Yeah. All right. So, the next thing. These are kind of like, what did I call them? Magnetic, magnetics, magnetics, but it's not. 
So it's magnetics inspired. Yes, it's magnetics inspired. But it's MTIC brand and it's 144 piece magnetic sticks and these things are so fun so um those i don't even didn't even tell you how much i posted those for uh, you took the sticker oh i did so i posted them for 29.95 with free shipping um a lot of this stuff like i said has free shipping on all the all the comparable sold comps um not my favorite thing in the world especially on you know the bigger heavier stuff but yeah, sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. Alright, so this is a pet nail grinder. We didn't open it because it's still, I'm gonna use it on Richard and test it. It's still got the seal on both ends. I don't know, it doesn't say, it says new. It doesn't say what color it's for, it just says for a, it's for a large breed dog or cat. It's a large breed cat. <laughs> it's for dog, big Tiger. dogs and lions. And tigers. There's a fat cat in there that worked the same way. Anyway, so we're going to cut all that out. It's a pet nail grinder. Yeah. And it's new and it's sealed. And it is for a large breed dog or cats. And um, they are listed and selling for $21.95 with free shipping. So that's what I posted it for. Here, I'll let you do these. Oh, you got some over there. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I keep thinking we're running low, but we're not. We're, we're not we are. Another box. Empty box. Not empty box. Another brown box. Um, did actually see what this was. It said it was an oil pan. Uh, I like car stuff, so it's an oil pan. And we did, did open it, look in it. And, you know, Amazon does not have the best descriptions on their labels, so got to do about 20 minutes worth of research to figure out this goes on a Subaru uh, Legacy and Impresna from 2004 to yeah, no, to a 19, from a 1994 to a 2009 Subaru Legacy and Impresna, so yeah, that was, that was fun. What's it sell for? Money. Okay. More than five dollars. I did actually look it up, but I didn't write it on there. So. Wasn't it in like seventy dollar range or yeah. something? Yeah. It think sells for sixty nine yeah, or something. It sells for money. It sells for money. We like money. It sells and ships for money. I'm gonna let you do the guy. No, the guy stuff. Hey, you tell him how much. I don't even know what this goes for. This is a Dragon Ball, but it doesn't have a Z. But that's okay, because it'll still sell. But it is. Let me see what it says. It says. But it does have the Dragon Ball inspired characters. It's a children's day pack. Yeah. Style too. I'm trying. Yeah, I think the first part's in Japanese. That's why. And yeah, I can't we see. Find, we couldn't find any comps on it. So. I'll list it for like fourteen ninety five plus shipping. Yeah. And I won't put Dragon Ball Z, I'll put Dragon, something. Or I'll put, Ball yeah, I'll put it on Facebook Marketplace. Yeah, I'll put it on Facebook Marketplace. Only a couple more and then a few. A few that. This is a Zurich coffee vault. And it is brand new. I did open it to take pictures. And. I don't know what the dial on the top of a coffee vault is for, but it's got one. So that's we culture. Cool. Yeah. I'm like, mine's in a old butter dish. Or still the coffee can. Yeah, it's in the coffee can. But it's the coffee vault, and it's by Zurich, and it's got the little dial. I guess you do maybe your days, or I don't know. I don't know, y'all. And it's got the little stainless steel measuring cup Excuse in me. there. And this I have listed I'm hoping I'm looking at the right stickies too for um oh there it is $29.95 with free shipping um comparable to the sold comps and so that wasn't too bad we're I figure we're averaging around the $30 mark on the majority of everything we got so you know if we can make yeah. a 15 16 17 profit on every five dollars that we spend yeah because see that's I'm what we cool when that. we 
figured everything out for how many products we got and how much we spent. That's where our $5.41 an item magic number came from. And, you know, within three items selling, which... Yeah, we've already sold the, three items. The sunglasses, uh, a brother's toner. Yeah. And... What was the it? Wii Remote. Yeah, the Wii Remote. I mean, no it was we, we saw on Facebook Market, it was an unbranded uh, Wiimote inspired by Wii. And nunchuck. just nunchuck for 20 bucks. Well, we put batteries in it and gave us an extra so, dollar on PayPal. Yeah. <laughs> so, And he did it friends and family. I didn't ask him to, but he did. So I thought that was kind of cool. And then the... Uh, the Brother the Printer. The Brother's Printer cartridge. We saw Toner. The I'll, put a, I'll put a picture right here. You're a nerd. <laughs> but that sold it. Within, that sold within 15 minutes, of yeah, course. Yeah. Any, any kind of cartridge that, that's... I did take it good. out of the original box very carefully and show that it was still vacuum sealed. I keep looking. There I know, I know, I know. I can't look at that. But anyway, it was I uh, showed it was still vacuum sealed. It was only a thirty-five dollar one, so it wasn't the high dollar ones. But even the high dollar ones sell really, really fast. Yeah. So I mean that I mean before I could get over because I like doing my drafts on my big computer, so I can actually see. Ooh. These are reflective, and they're gonna see all that stuff back there. <laughs> so and it, so I mean, gonna show my phone really went good. off, and that thing. I mean, almost immediately once it posted, it sold. I mean, it was fifteen minutes, and I already had my notification and payment for it. So, you know, always grab those if, you know, if you spot them. So, all right. All right. What we found odd thing here is um, some Hong Dak. <laughs> i got to show it. It's called Hong Dak. Um, I guess I'm on here. I'm on yeah, we're, gonna, we're not going to show them the front of them because they're very reflective and Hong you'll Dak. see her. Hong deck. You'll see our mess. But these are some Hong Deck <laughs> skiing goggles. I really want to try them on. Do just it. run around the neighborhood. Do it. Not gonna let these people. Let just these, let them see the front of them. But. Oh, keep going the way. Hong Deck. I just like saying the word now. Can't be showing y'all the chaos behind the camera. Yeah. That well, was a nice way of saying. Hot mess. Yeah, it's a hot mess. Hot mess. But there you go. There's there's the hot mess of here. So those are listed for twenty nine ninety five with free shipping. They shouldn't cost too somebody much. had. He a, is making everything. I own somebody used. had a giant head. Well, they came. I tried to. Holy smokes! I tried to tighten them up to put them on my little glass head. Yeah, these are. You can tighten. That's why they're adjustable. Now go snowboarding. I'm fat. I will fall and hurt myself. All right. I wonder if they can see. Well, he's doing whatever he's doing. Um, this is a carafe. Correct. Carafe. I'm not. Anyway, um, it is a Tomaki carafe, and it is double sided, and it is. Exclusive design, one liter, thirty-six ounce. Correct. If I'm saying that wrong, sorry. Did you tell me how much these were worth? I did. Oh. Anyway, so these are listed for forty-five with like thirteen dollars and eighty-four cents shipping. I did calculated shipping at so it's gonna depend on where they're at. And I did mine for thirty nine ninety five because there was actually no sold comps within the last ninety days that I found. Um so that's what I listed this for. I am gonna cross post this and a lot of these things on Facebook Marketplace. I've cross posted a, a couple of them. See what I live with y'all? But anyway, I've cross posted It's supposed to possibly snow here next again. week. So we might just have to keep these. So I don't. Because you're gonna snowboard. I'm gonna I'm gonna run downhill. <laughs> you're not gonna run. I'll get in the jeep and I'll stick you're my head up. Fall downhill. Oh yeah, I'm gonna roll. I'm Last gonna... time it snowed, he got in the jeep and got in trouble with the mall by the by mall. Paul Blart. Paul Blart. He got chased. He got chased. He he, he, he he was in the big jeep 
with did, the big tires on it, and here comes the mall cop and his little Chevette or whatever he was in. He was in a uh, Ford. Uh, Ford. Okay, that tells you right now. I'm just kidding. Wow. Sorry, I'm just kidding. A Ford. I used to drive Fords all the time. Like a, a little. Their SUV. I don't know which one it was, but he's he he did not catch the Jeep. But so he's teaching he's teaching our twenty year olds some bad habits. It bad was his habits. idea. Oh, that doesn't surprise me. Anyway, hey, we can... so we got just a couple more things, real quick, guys, that I want to go over. These are some bicycling gloves. I grabbed these because I couldn't work my phone with rubber gloves on, and I was getting irritated. Because I couldn't look up stuff with my rubber gloves on. So I got these because we left. We didn't leave. We went out. We checked out. Went outside to get some air. Kind of regroup. See how much money we had spent. You know. And see what. Because I didn't know what he had gotten. He didn't know what I had gotten. So we kind of went out there and kind of talked about what we had gotten. And put yeah, it in the secret. tote. In the car. And the totes and stuff like that. Because um, we totally went separate directions whenever we got in there. Um, because I, I didn't have time to mess with him. He didn't have time to mess with me. We both went separate ways and we did was, our thing. We was it's told pretty big. To, to ninja style it. Yeah, TJ. I ninja styled it. Anyway, so I got these thinking, oh, well, they got little rubber things on them, so they'll work with, you know, I can actually use my phone. Well, I never put them on, and I don't need gloves. And we're going to clean these. Yes. Or I'm just going to keep them. We're going to clean these bunk off of those. So anyway, and oh, but they did come in a nice uh, hard case as well. With a clasp, so you can hook it to your your ski suit, and as you're hanging out around the ski slope lodge, you can be <laughs> and have your. <laughs> Is this why you don't watch our videos? Yeah, because I'm not. Anyway, so these aren't worth much. I may throw them up on on throw them up. On <laughs> Facebook. We're gonna redo this whole damn thing <laughs> on Facebook Marketplace. You used to for like it, maybe ten bucks and see if somebody's we're interested have to, in them. I didn't use them. We're gonna have to edit that. Because yeah, I spit what I did. I know. I see it on the table. <laughs> but. But, but they've got I the like little, the little, little sign. But I mean, there's some nice bicycle gloves. They ought to be worth about ten bucks. I'll put them on Facebook Marketplace and see. They'll probably end up in the in the drawer in there with all the other gloves that we can't find when it does snow around here, or we forget we have the one time a year, maybe two this year. And these are some. Um, they're called wealthy shades. That's why I grabbed them. <laughs> Lies. And they're the blue light with 2.50 magnification, which I guess I'm needing. I'm still blind from that grow light, man. Oh. oh anyway. Nice. Oh, man. My eyes are like on fire. Fire. I say to you, fire. Um, anyway. So these, my niece was with us and she got a pair. She said a lot of kids wear them because of the lights in the school. I don't know. I don't know. We haven't been in school in a minute, so I don't know. Yeah. But they're just some blue light Holy smokes. reading glasses. And I didn't even realize I had gotten them until I got home. I don't know what I was thinking. I just, I, I seen wealthy shades and I grabbed them. Gonna, thinking, oh yeah. It's going to look like bubbles. One of these days I'm going to be wealthy and I'm going to be throwing shade at people. Does it look like bubbles on there? I, I, you kind of do look like, boo, do bubbles. No, I can't. That's rude. Don't do bubbles. He's a, he's a character. Do bubbles. I don't care do bubbles. I can't even see. Come on. I don't know. No, you're a Trailer Park boy. Do some bubbles. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do bubbles. Mm -hmm. Do bubbles. <laughs> Please do bubbles for me. I don't know how to do bubbles. <laughs> so, anyway, so that is everything that we got, I think. Is there I, anything? I don't have? know. I cannot see. True. I can. I cannot see myself. I can't see. I can see the like outline of the camera. Well, I can see you. Barely. My eyes are still got 100 LED spots in them. Anyway, so we already have sold three things. Just started posting She's got to clean last things. night. Um, not that I'm dirty, y'all. I just, you know, I'm not oily. My T-zone's fantastic. But. 
We're real playing them just because I'm a child and like to play with stuff. Every stuff. Oh, God, I can't see. I told you. Stuff at all. Yeah, you can't see stuff and I was like right here. I didn't even see that we were filming and I almost said a bad word. Mm-hmm. Yeah, profanity person. So, anyway, before those make me nauseous. Um, so, I think our first Quick Lots trip to the bin store was amazing. Um, especially for being newbies at a bin store, going in, not really... And it was really cool because, you know, we were awake. I'm done. Yeah. Edit. It was really cool that we were, you know, <laughs> we were in line with people and... Course, Remember, I do the editing. Yeah. We were in line with people and there, you know, one guy was in front of us. He had did not only bought pallets from the, from Quick Lots, he also um, bought the uh, bin store type things. He said he enjoyed doing the what we were doing, the bin store part, because he got to cherry pick, you know... What he wanted. What he wanted. He already he had already bought pallets, and knew what was what he sold the most profitable out of the pallet. So now he can go in and just go to the bin store part and cherry pick, just like you would do off of a pallet. And I don't. I want to do pallets. I really, 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 really want to do some pallets. Um, and I may one time when we go up there, we may once we get to that point grab a pallet. Um, but I like to go in and pick and choose also. I will tell you, it, well, I went on two hours of sleep and he had maybe four mm -hmm. hours of sleep and we drove a little over, about two and a half hours to get there. Um, so by the time we went back in the second time, we, you know, like I said, we went out to the, to the truck and... Grab a drink, grab, grab some a drink, fresh air. Yeah, grab some fresh air, put our bag, because they were getting heavy, um, in, in the truck and suited back up with our gloves and our mask and everything and went back in. We weren't in there, I would say, at the max 45 minutes the second time. First time was almost two hours. If we were even in there 45 minutes. It might have just been 30 minutes because yeah. it was just like... Okay, all, all our I, just, all started, our I just started being... And I knew I had to make it all the way back home and uh, to keep him awake in the truck. And uh, so... But it, it was like exhausting, but it was exhilarating at the same time. So if you ever haven't ever been to a Ben store, you know, check out what's yeah. around you. Look um, what's around you and they they let people in. So they they do they do here, man, I don't know. Mandatory wear gloves, mandatory wear a mask because you are What? I'm thirsty. Didn't bring me nothing. You don't drink those. <laughs> anyway, but they didn't hold any. They didn't hold the line back. They didn't hold anybody out. So you know, once you were in line, you were in line. You didn't have to wait for other people to come out. Um, but you did have to wear your mask and your gloves, which I appreciate. We, our house has had COVID, and we appreciate the gloves and the mask. And that's why we sanitize everything. Yes. Um, we've been there. We've done that. We don't want to do it again. It was, it was, it was no good. No good, I say. Yeah. Um, that whole losing your, losing taste and, and smell. I'm fat and really like to eat. And I, I was eating vegetables. Because <laughs> nobody was cooking them for him because I was on the couch. But anyway, enough about that. Um, I do appreciate the fact that they, that they do supply those things. Um, I'd like to give them a great review if you're from this area and are thinking about going. Um, <laughs> Sorry. You know, you can go in there and yes, you want to go in TJ Ninja style. If you actually watch our videos, I know you've subscribed, but if you actually want get time to watch our videos. We did go in there Ninja style at first, but then we slowed down a little bit. Like you said, you know, like they say, go in Ninja style, look through your stuff, slow down, take a little bit of time. You know, I'm over there squinting my eyes trying to read all these labels and stuff. Um, but take your time because we did get out of there with some stuff that I meant to put back that I didn't. It is overwhelming. Um, it is very crowded, um, busy, you know. Yeah, it's very busy. It's not like people on top of people, but well, it's it's It kind of is, but they're not like, it's not like a mosh pit. Yeah. Which is what I was expecting. But it's, it's, yeah, the it's, people, it's like a very, very good concert at the, in the line for beer.
Thanks for watching, you guys. All right, and then hope you enjoyed. And if you have any, I guess, questions on anything that we found or, yeah, or any questions about uh, quick lots, you know, what little we do know, we we will pass on to you. If you have a have a question, then put it in the comments below. And you know, we are planning definitely going back. I'm already ready to go back this weekend back camp. I got other stuff to do. You know, we have talked. We have talked to the owner and his so, son and they're you know they're willing to conversate with us and like as our, as our one channel on one, when as our, our channel, channel gets a little bigger i wouldn't ask him to do it right now but when our channel gets a little bigger they have showed interest in you know possibly maybe doing a little interview yeah doing for, a little, for doing the a little channel promoting so they for can our channel their, and doing promoting for quick lots in general and they are i did over here over the intercom there and i've heard that they are working on a mega store yeah and bigger, I believe that's a bigger going to be in arlington more area. space more more boxes more so you know we'll keep y'all updated on that too um they do have a facebook page and he did say if y'all want to keep updated you know if you're from this area or anywhere in texas close enough to drive there it's worth the drive and uh, keep an eye on the. What are you pointing at? Keep the an eye on their Facebook I keep, page. I gotta tell myself to keep oh. looking at the camera. We're gonna have to put like a. Stand because they're gonna keep there. they're gonna keep updates all the time on their their mega store and what's going on and you know. So I really think it was a great experience. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of fun and. I, you know. Two weeks. I'm going back. I'm going back. I said once a month, but now that I've been there, I'm like every other week. Yeah, and then plus, maybe every week. You know, plus yeah, because you know what we what we did pick was profitable, and if it continues to be profitable, there's no point in not going. We did look at our numbers before we added up all that stuff we did at first. There was like ten items, and we deducted our cost of goods, our eBay fees, and estimated what shipping was going to cost us on like the free shipping and stuff like that. And we were already at pre-tax profit of close to five hundred dollars so i say that's a good day i say that's a really good day and you know if Supposedly. we went back in allegedly allegedly just sorry saying. april i'm trying allegedly allegedly <laughs> so but anyway um, and the struggle bus <laughs> you're riding that struggle bus but anyway, so um, I, I definitely, if you're around this area, you're a reseller, or even if you want to go and just check it out. I mean, you don't have to have a reseller certificate. You don't have to have your tax ID or anything like that. I assume you can take your tax ID in. We don't have one, so I assume you can, so you don't have to pay taxes. But um, anyway, that's what we know so far, and we will keep you all updated um, on everything else that we learn and every time we go. And uh, this week is going to be more of a supposed to be cold so we're going to try to maybe hit some goodwills and stuff and thrift this weekend we'll see you know how the goodwills are around here but uh i'm just chatty kathy just you are and chatting and, 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 and. Yeah. all right peace out you guys all right from seventh, seventh row, row resale every stuff like i said if you've hung in for this hour i barely hung in for this hour yeah. i'm tired i gotta go make a video you guys the like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon and point like somewhere that she'll put all this stuff in there. So. Yeah, I'll try. I'll or, try. She'll, or she'll just edit it out. Yeah. All right. Bye, guys. See you next time.